one of the viewers asked me a question and they were asking about fighting what if someone is trying to fight you or something like that <clears throat> first of all I know for myself I don't get in situations where people want to fight me or where I am almost going to fight a person for one thing <clears throat> stay away from troublemakers very simple if someone is teasing you or calling you names and stuff like that walk away don't say anything back why would you say anything back well Kevin you know if someone is talking about me you know I am just going to talk about them back this is why you get into trouble just close your mouth usually when people are teasing someone or trying to make or build a fight they have psychological issues so why would you say anything to a person that has psychological issues unless <clears throat> you are trying to minister to them about God even then if they are trying to fight you you should shut up and walk away if you just walk away you can get rid of so much conflict but because of your pride perhaps this is why you get into fights I pray that this makes sense and let's say someone does hit you let's say someone comes to you and push you or slaps you in the face what should you do let's go to Matthew chapter 5 verses 38 to 39 ye have heard that it hath been said an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth so most of us know what an eye for an eye means and a tooth for a tooth if you do evil to me I have the right to do evil to you now this law here was only for the Old Testament now we are in in the New Testament things have changed let me continue 39 but I say unto you that ye resist not evil but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. So what this is saying, if someone hits you, if someone does evil to you, don't do any anything evil back to that person. On top of that, let's say someone punches you and you walk away. And let's say that one day you see this person and they need food or they get kicked out of their home and stuff like that. What this is saying also, you need to help that person out. Well, Kevin, that is crazy because if someone hits me, I am going to hit them back. Well... <laughs> This is one of many reasons why it is so difficult for you to serve God because you see the word of God here, you see what it is saying, but you still choose to go by your own understanding, going to do whatever you like to do, even when the Bible says otherwise. It is your choice. You have the choice to listen to what the Bible is saying or you have the choice to do whatever you want to. And when you choose to do whatever you want to, more bad things are going to happen to you. It is a guarantee. So, like I said, to avoid fights, man, when was the last time I was in a fight? 
perhaps when I was like 18 or no, maybe 21, I don't know, long time ago. But you can easily avoid fights if you stay away from those type of people. You can easily avoid fights. by not saying anything. But because of your pride, you fall for the trap every single time. So whose fault is it? It is your fault. God bless.